Good afternoon and welcome to London in lockdown. I'm just off Bishopsgate. It's pretty dead. So let's go and uh, let's go and have a quick explore. So this here is the Victorian bathhouse in Bishopsgate. So uh, very interesting. Imagine it being quite expensive. But very nice building and this here is the ivy just round here it's called St Otto Lutz Church Hall It's a nice little bit of peace and quiet in the middle of London here. But some of these buildings are absolutely huge. What's this here then? I'm loving that uh, tower and the clock. As you can see, it's nearly three o'clock. Um, so it'll be getting dark in the next hour. So, Maybe in a minute we can um, head over and see some Christmas lights in the city. Not sure what's in here. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm meant to be coming in here or not. But let's have a quick look. It costs almost £6,000 per week to keep this church open. You wouldn't expect it to cost that much. Hi, Hi, Hi you're right. Yeah. Oh. It's really nice, man. Absolutely incredible. Look at the ceiling. Peace and quiet is about to end. As you can hear, there's a lot of a lot of building works going on in London at the moment. I believe that building there is currently the tallest building in London. So that building there is on Bishopsgate and it took a number of years for it to be um, given planning permission, but in the end. They allowed it. So this building here, which is now believed to be an office, used to be um, a leather factory. Um, and it's lots of vaults in Hazelwood House. So this part of London here is the main financial district to one of. Um, seems to be an up and coming place. I'm not sure what this sculpture is. No, I'm not too sure, modern art. But as you can imagine, this would be absolutely heaving on a normal working day. Because of lockdown, it, everything is closed. But yeah, I'd have to do a video when everything's back open again. Well, that's quite an impressive building there. I'm not sure what this is. Let's go have a look. But yeah, I don't know if I think I'm going to be able to get a takeaway pint today. I'm going to have to have a quick Google search in a bit to see if there is anywhere selling a quick beer before heading back on the train. Very impressed with this. So this statue here is a statue of the Duke of Wellington. Um, I think it was erected in June 1844. 
he was um, a British soldier and statesman locating the Royal Exchange in, in London. It's very nice. So um, this won a City Heritage Award, Heritage Award in 1996. So that last entrance was closed, let's try it down here. Have a look at the uh, underground map and see where to go. So, do I use the stairs? So it's only an emergency use. Oh, let's give it a go. I'm going to be absolutely exhausted by the end of this. Song. It's quite impressive, though. So, we're just at Covent Garden train station now, the underground station. So we're going to have a quick explore of Covent Garden and see what's happening during lockdown. This unfit still got over 100 more steps to go. Seems never ending. Oh, absolutely shattered. 91 steps. Hoping I can get out when I get to the top. The one WA one used the steps. Still going. 57 more steps. 35 more steps. The end is in sight. Oh. Covent Garden Underground Station. Let's go and have a quick look, see what's happening. Showing this pub's not open, the white line, it's not a sick pub. It's been there since 1873 by the looks of it. Here's the main part of Covent Garden down here. Uh, see what the coffee prices are around here. Pretty standard for around here, really. And, um, we're now at the end of November, so it's Christmas lights are all up. Um, normally, this would be absolutely heaving, as you can see pretty dead. Christmas tree is up here. It's a shame that it's well everything is closed. Look at them balls. It's been a nice ice cream parlour. I'm actually feeling quite warm. I think it's them, all them steps I climbed that I could actually do with an ice cream right now. So it's very nice. So that's this place here then. Let's look at the prices. So BLT is £7.50. I honestly don't know what the going rate is. Very nice though. It's kept its charm. Here is the Christmas tree, Covent Garden. Some impressive looking, what's like a town hall. There's a distance there, it's London Transport Museum. Yeah, it's uh, very pretty. That's one thing you're going to notice around London at the moment is they've closed off a lot of the roads. There's no way of driving down here anymore. 
sticks and sushi, see, if, see what the prices are. Yes, I suppose it is quite expensive, but I've certainly seen more expensive. So a meal there for two people, 70 pounds. I suppose when, when you've got your drinks on top of that, <coughs> it's not a cheap meal out. This here looks uh, rather fancy. Flat iron. Looks like some sort of bar restaurant. But obviously it's uh, obviously it's closed. Look at that bit of meat. All bar one, pretty conventional. I reckon I'm going to head up this way now. But I like these little uh, carts with the flowers, the plants. And down there you've got the white spawn. Let's go. Let's go have a quick look. So the roundhouse was opened in 1860. Yeah, it's a nice boozer. So that's uh, it's like a theatre there, and I'm not sure what this is. It's Looks like a nice pub. And another pub there called the Salisbury Buffet. We've got about another 10 days or less, slightly less than lockdown. So hopefully the pubs get an opportunity to recover during the uh, December month. See a plane landing at City Airport there in the distance. In, in all honesty, I thought there'd be a few more pubs doing takeaway beers, but none of them are. We really like these doors. It's a very impressive theatre, I love that round sort of globe spinning at the top there. The old Christmas lights up. I think this could actually be, um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this could actually be Trafalgar Square coming up. It is. So over there is Trafalgar Square. Let's go and have a quick look. We're in Trafalgar Square, that's the National Gallery. You remember me when I was very quiet. Well, not quiet. Someone singing Sting. Very well, my eye in the background. This has all been blocked off, I reckon. Stop people gathering. Or possibly maintenance works. But normally this would be flying water and pigeons would be everywhere. Yeah, so it's a lovely sight. So she took a long for to give to her On the fields of Bali It is all she felt as I came down Upon the fields of war Will you stay with me? Will you be my love? Upon the fields of Bali It is all she felt when she kissed her mouth I'm on the fields of love.
but just walking away from Trafalgar Square now and um, it's quite an impressive looking building in front let's go have a quick look not sure what it is could be a hotel we'll have a quick look not really has got a plaque or anything explaining So this is um, Charing Cross train station and that impressive part of the building there is actually a hotel. It's called the Amber Hotel. We're on the Strand again. There's a Barbary house over there. I've noticed there's a a lot of police down some of the side streets, not sure what that's all about, maybe patrolling the streets for anyone breaking Covid rules. But as you can see, look, the Christmas lights are up. And over here on the left is the Adelphi Theatre, very famous theatre hall in London. Um, so a quick look. Got Back to the Future on. In summer 2021. Up for a bit of a uh, bit of that, to be honest. Loving this uh, graffiti on the old shutter. Here. Quite a few theatres along here as well. Have one here called the Bald Bald Sure, someone will tell me in the comment section that it was a, it's a famous theatre hall. I know my other half, Emily, is a massive fan of Nine to Nine to Five, the musical. Well, she she liked the film, um, but the musical is on this summer coming up, what, in 2021. So, I promise you, I'll take you when everything reopens. There is the Savoy. Let's go have a quick look. This is one of the most famous hotels in London. Probably one of the most expensive as well, but pure class. Absolutely amazing. I presume it's all all closed up unless it's open for businessmen and women um, not too sure but here's the theatre as well Dolly Parton but yeah very 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 posh Emily I don't think I'm gonna be able to afford to stay there we'll have to get the train and in front of this over there is the Strand Palace Hotel. It's a very interesting pub here. It's called the Savoy Tap. So that's what it says. The Savoy Tap is situated near the original Savoy Palace, considered in its day to be the grandest nobleman's townhouse of medieval London. It was the residence of John of Gaunt, until it was destroyed in the Peasants' Revolt in 1381. It lay between the Strand and the River Thames. The present Savoy Theatre and Savoy Hotel were named in its memory. Queen's Chapel of the Savoy. I think we're going to head down to the Thames quickly before we end the video. So this is the world famous River Thames and I think that's a great way to end today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed and um, see you on the next adventure.